Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is your personal reading. I just wanted to say thank you so much for donating this reading to the channel. Every so often, someone who books a personal reading asks me to put the video public so that it can help anyone else who happens to come across it. And some of the most powerful like, um, like confirmation messages I've received have come through me posting people's personal readings publicly. Sometimes someone will come across and write like a huge paragraph and be like, oh my gosh, this resonated and like I am going through the same thing and it just, it makes me feel so amazing to know that this is helping that many people and I just want to thank you guys so much. The more that you guys bless me on this channel, the more I can bless you and I'm just loving this energy flow. So with that said, this person is wondering what they can do to attract a soulmate. They're like, I want to attract someone in, into my life. I'm like, it's not like this person's impatient, but they're wondering like, what can I do to help the situation? Like, what can I do to attract this? Like, is there any blockages on my side? So we're going to go into that. And then I'm just also going to pull like some general messages for you as well. Like with what you're going through in your life and just any messages the angels might happen to have or... I'm probably just going to go through all of my decks here and pull messages because I'm feeling like, let's get into this, you know? If you booked a personal reading from me recently, just know because of my sale and my love readings this month, because all of my love readings right now are only $33.33. .33, um, they're usually like $40 or $50 or $60. Um, so they're on sale. A lot of people booked personal readings from me. So I'm going down the list literally... My husband is doing all the dishes. He's doing all the chores. <laughs> he's happy and he's thankful that like we're able to purchase more equipment for the channel because he's been helping out with this. But um, at the same time, I've been working really hard. I'm thankful. I'm still doing this. I just took a really nice long bath and like I'm taking care of myself and whatnot. But I'm just feeling bad because some of, some of you guys have been waiting for like five or six days. So if you've been waiting for five or six days... You're at the top of my list. You're going to get your reading next. Um, and I just want to say thank you for your patience. And thank you. I'm loving you guys. And I can't wait until my new assistant um, starts with me next month. I've hired an assistant who is going to start with me in a couple weeks. And so I'm hoping this assistant, um, along with some new um, business practices, are going to help my workflow be faster. I really don't want to raise my prices. My husband's like, just raise your prices. And I'm like, no, like these, like, I don't know. I, like when I was really down in the dumps and when I was really going through crap, about all I could cough up for my psychic was like 40 bucks. So I totally get your situation, you guys. And I know some of you guys are kind of like desperate, but I believe the message is going to come to you at the perfect time. So let, with that said, let's do this. What can you do to attract your soulmate? Yeah, rainbowharmony.com is coming soon. Um, or, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking over some different names for the website. But there are a couple different names for the website on offer. But yes, a website is coming really soon for you guys. A website, my Facebook will probably be up this week. Literally working my ass off on this channel because it's like my calling and I want to just make it better for you guys. This makes a lot of sense to me. Mm. Right now I feel like you're you're single because you like this needs to be healed like I see rejuvenation and I see intimacy and I'm feeling like you are needing some healing and I feel like this comes from your past you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go there um I'm surprised I didn't pull this card for you I don't see the healing family issues card here I wonder if it'll pop out Well, we see forgiving and learning. So it's like you're healing some issues from the past. Um, it could be from your family. It could be from like old lovers or something. But I'm seeing like you, it's hard for you to be vulnerable and to open up in this area. And I see, it's not like your heart is closed, 
But there is the fear of opening your heart fully to accept love, if that makes sense. So what I'm seeing here with intimacy is that it's time for you to open up. It's time for you to be open to intimacy in your life. And even just a simple affirmation of putting your hand on your heart and saying, I'm open to receive love can help. So they're saying that it's time to look beyond the surface and look into the deeper mysteries of life. They're wanting you to be fully present with what truly is. Penetrate the core of the matter and be in touch with what is true for you. They're saying, be aware of where you feel a rawness or a vulnerability. They're saying real intimacy leads you into unknown territory. So if you dare to follow the path, it can lead you to the magic of intimacy. They're saying, dare to open your heart and honor your most secret desires. This card speaks of empowering positive change at your very center. So I do see change coming for you in this area of your life. We're getting the very soon card reversed. So I'm going to be honest with you that the soulmate may not come into your life as soon as you would like or as soon as you would hope for, but they're coming. They're definitely coming. I'm seeing right now, you're just kind of like disconnected from the world. You're not really on the dating scene because um, you're working on freeing yourself. They're, they're saying it's time to take back control of your life. And as you take back control of your, your life, as you work on yourself, as you honor yourself, as you allow yourself to be vulnerable and like to admit to yourself like what your needs and what your wants truly are and you start meeting those needs, you start working forward towards your dreams, your goals. You free yourself from your own um, limitations. As you do that, you start to become more magnetic and more attractive to soulmates. So remember that soulmates aren't always like a lover. I know we're talking about, you're talking about like a romantic lover. But I also see this applying to anyone out there who's looking for just kindred friendships and wanting to like have a group of friends or wanting to like find a community. Um... You know, your soulmate isn't always just like a lover. It can be a friend. It can be a coworker. It can be your child. It can be your parent. It could be your friend. So um, this kind of goes like very true for um, attracting a soulmate or any type of soulmate into your life. Like to focus on yourself, to work on yourself. That is like the number one advice out there on attracting soulmates because it makes sense. For me on my path, I kind of realized I use this as an example all the time because for me, becoming a fashion stylist was like a really spiritual journey. <laughs> but, um, you know, I didn't realize that by doing what I loved and by becoming a fashion stylist and like spending more time like honoring like that, that those gifts I had and the desires I had, I didn't realize I would meet friends and I would meet people that like to share in that with me people that were like fun to be around people that like inspired me and uplifted me and like have helped me and have been there for me and so I see like being who you are and like working towards your dreams freeing yourself taking control of your life helps you to connect with others so I see that's what you're supposed to work towards right now is whatever that dream is that you want to do whatever um you like energy you'd like to bring into your life to focus on that that's a huge manifestation tip. You know, if you're trying to manifest a soulmate, if you're trying to attract love into your life, you have to become love. You know, if you're trying to attract passion and new beginnings, you know, then, you know, start new beginnings in your life and, you know, be passionate about it. And um, I'm seeing flirt too. This is going to help you like to kind of open up and to start like attracting that energy and practice a little bit. They're saying, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So why not flirt a little bit, you know? Flirt. So I'm seeing, like, your feelings are real and worth exploring is what this card is saying. Like, it's worth it to have romantic feelings and you're worthy. So let's go ahead and shuffle these cards back up. Something they're telling you too is like to use your imagination and like to imagine like what kind of partnership you'd like to lead like to have and what you'd like that partner to be like and what kind of activities you guys would do together and where you guys would go and what the relationship would be like and 
um, using just regular manifestation techniques, you can use this in relationships as well. So they're telling you you're not um, you're not completely out of control here. You can help visualize and to send more signals to the universe on what is wanted here. So they're saying it's time to bring these ideas down to the 3D and down to the earth. And um, we're going to see how you can do that. Let's try my Green Witch Tarot. <laughs> I love, I'm just laughing because I've gotten so many comments on my shuffling and now I feel like you guys are gonna like look at um like look at how I shuffle now and like now sometimes I'm kind of self-conscious about it but like <laughs> someone wrote the other day shout out who to whoever this is you made me you made me and my husband laugh so hard um someone was saying that like I, I violently shuffle the cards like as a joke um and it's just funny because like I totally do and um, I just have, everyone has like a special way that they shuffle and like, I just think it's bizarre. Like the cards are constantly, of course, popping out probably because of the way that I shuffle, but it's really interesting nonetheless that they always happen to resonate. But yeah, I'm, it's why like this card deck like ripped in half. <laughs> My husband won't even let me touch his deck. He's like, you can't touch my deck. Like, this was his deck, and then I kind of ruined it. So, this deck, I stole it. It's my deck. <laughs> okay, let's pull that card for you. <laughs> Queen of Chalices. This is you, okay? Very empathetic. You know, you have s strong psychic abilities. Um, you're, v you're like kind of a hopeless romantic. And so you're not just wanting to attract any kind of soulmate. You're wanting like the whole thing. You know, you're wanting to really be romanced. You're wanting to really be pursued. Um, and you're wanting someone who's going to be authentic with you when it comes to emotions. Um, I feel like you are like totally an empath. Um, you're the kind of person who's very sensitive, very nurturing, very empathetic. And um, you're looking for someone who can kind of handle that. Um, I see you're looking for someone who can help, like, like financially help as well. Someone who's, like, confident in this area. And um, I see that this is all kind of what's being stirred in the pot for you right now. Like, you're just kind of waiting. And um, I see, like, this is how close it is. Like, it's coming, but you know, it's still just kind of outside the window. Like it hasn't made its way into like your aura yet. Like basically your manifestation is coming. Like it's, it's anchoring down, but it's going to need some time. And so I definitely see like the need to maybe be more specific, maybe do a kind of ritual or something. Um, write a list down of like qualities of this person. Um, and I see like you needing to have endurance so, I have to, sometimes, you guys have probably watched so many of my readings, sometimes I tell people like, oh my god, this is coming really soon and maybe in the next week or two, but for you, I'm not going to say this is going to be like years from now, but I don't feel it. I don't feel like this is coming in the next couple weeks. And as far as what you can do to attract this, it's like, I don't feel, I just feel like divine timing is at work. So let's ask again, like... What can you do to track this? So if the first thing is to realize that it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest love of all. I'm definitely feeling that vibe from you. Like... There is a little bit of anxiety around this and they're telling you to like affirmations. That's a huge thing that's coming up for you. Affirmations, like literally putting your hand on your heart and saying like, it's safe for me to love. It's safe for me to love. I'm open to receive love. It's safe for me to love. Anytime you find yourself worrying, because I'm sure in your mind you worry a lot. Like, is this person going to come? Like, am I going to end up alone? Like, that's what we do when we're single, right? That's just what we do. 
but um, putting your hand on your heart and like reminding yourself of that, reminding yourself that like your manifestations are coming, it's really, really helpful. So I'm going to pull this up here in the book and read it to you because I feel like it's going to help. Okay, I'm trying to find it. Here it is. <laughs> All right, it's safe for you to love. This card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences. However, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed heart repels the sense of the partner you're trying to attract. Follow your inner guidance. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to other people's trustworthiness and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring caring individuals, including a romantic partner, into your life and they'll do so. Beautiful. I do see an engagement, but once again, this card's reversed, so it means delays. Like you're not getting engaged next week or like next month. Like it's going to take some time. Same thing why this sun card's reverse. Yes, you are going to ultimately have what you want, but you have to be willing to be patient. You have to be willing to kind of put what you want. Remember we saw that stirring the pot card? Put what you want into the pot. And remember to work towards your dreams. This is the card that's telling you to work towards your dreams. To, to remember to manifest not only in this area of your life, but other areas as well. And I'm seeing this respect that's coming through for you from the other side about the journey you're on. Like you're protected and there are un unseen forces at work for you here in this situation. So I hope that this reading resonates. I'm sending you so much love and light. Peace out.